Hi, it's Janice Thompson from jazzledazzlecraft.co.uk. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I live and work in Scotland. So today I am here to do a video as part of the catalogue launch for the mini catalogue July to December 2022 which also has a two month celebration with it 1st of July to the 31st of August unfortunately I can't show you inside of these catalogues yet because I'm filming this in advance so I have actually decided to showcase Hippest Hippos and Hippo Dies, which are um, in the celebration. So you can earn these for, um, in the UK anyway, it's 45. If you spend £45, you can earn that stamp set. And if you spend £45, you can earn the dies. So therefore, if you spend £90, you can choose these both for free. But you can do it a bit at a time. Anyway, so what I have done a lot of prep in advance because this is just to be a 15 minute video. So I'm just going to show you a wee quick. What I did was I just got them out. The the dies and the stamp set. The stamp set. I got did some stamping and I used the dies and I cut out a lot of wee bits and pieces and then I coloured them up. Okay, so there's dies to cut out the figures, the hippos, the three hippos, and then there's lots of bits, what I would say is accessories that you can cut out. So what I did was I just cut these all out on basic white card and then coloured them with my, um, basically my, mostly my alcohol markers. But you can colour them with whatever medium you want. So I'm not going to show you a lot of die cutting and stamping today. What I'm showing you is making up a card with the resulting um, bits and pieces. So the, the stamp set has four fun sentiments and three happy hippos. Aren't they just gorgeous, sweet, cute, great for adult or children cards? Um, yeah, so that's that. So I did do this. That, I'll keep that one because that's similar to what I'm going to show you just now. So the first one I did, I actually did with masking. Now, I haven't done a masking tutorial, but basically I just stamped that figure, masked it over and then stamped my flowers over the top. When you take the mask off, you find that the hippo's standing in amongst the flowers in fact it looks like she's standing on the leaf of the flowers but anyhow that's that's one use of it then i did this square one where i stamped some of the faces around the sentiment and then i used a few of the accessories be honest i used that flower there to cover over an ink blob so that's that one and then i had some bits and pieces left over so i went looking at what other sets i've got so i've used this designer series paper that's from the annual catalogue and that is it forest friends happy forest friends that one's called and then i've used the wee elephant from where is it? elephant parade that's on the stamp set and the heron habitat that these are both from the annual catalogue and so is this paper so and then i've popped this wee hippo in the forest with the heron and the elephant just fun isn't it it's just fun and that's do you know that's what for me stamping is about fun and your only limit is your imagination really so this is the type of card i am going to show you so i've stamped with our memento and I've used the dies to cut out the hippos and then I've coloured them in with our blends alcohol markers. Now my tip today is to remember that if you're going to colour with alcohol pens use the Memento Tuxedo Black. If you want to colour with water based ink such as our ink from our ink pads or our stamp right markers or you want to do a little bit of water colouring with them then I suggest that you use the stays on black because the, that doesn't run when you put, add water so that's just my wee tip so let's see what I've got in here it, to do this from start to finish would have taken much more than 15 minutes and we're trying to keep our videos to 15 minutes maximum for this launch 
so that we can you can see as much as possible. So this was a lid off a thick of something that I had just put all the bits in and I just popped it in the bag as well. So let's just put the bits and pieces that we've got here left. So I'm about to start this card with something that I didn't plan. I just thought of as I was switching the video on just now. And that's the way I roll. I make it up as I go along. So I had this little bit here, which I was going to start because I've got this bit and I've coloured that with the blend and it's like a boat. And I was going to use that bit as a weave and I might still have this in here. But I remembered we've got this amazing wave stamp from Waves of Information inspiration in the annual catalogue so I've got a piece of card and I'm going to um, and don't worry about measurements and things there will be a bit of a tutorial at the end for this card so I've just inked that up in I've forgotten it's <laughs> Starry's card and that's the same as the boat really but you know that doesn't matter and I'm just going to pop this a bit of this weave here just to get a bit of a watery look that's cool isn't it so I might just still add this in here no will I no I'm not we'll, we'll miss this but I'll keep it for something else shall we we're going to have this boat balancing precariously on this weave. Okay, and then we'll have our hippo balancing in the boat. And we've got various other acts. So we need a sentiment. So I think this time I'm going to use the love you a ton. Because it's quite funny. So it's about just... Building up your composition, I love doing scene cards and just playing. Now, because I don't want a stark white background, I have a blending brush. This is not my Stampin' Up blending brush, I'm afraid. Do I have one, a blue one with that? Because that would be better. Let me see. Here's a Stampin' one, Up one that I've been using for blue as well. I'm just going to pick up a little bit of this. The people who watch me a lot know that I'm a Knight of Navy girl, but I'm fast becoming a fan of this um, Starry Skies. So I've taken, now I did watch another tip, another demonstrator give a tip here actually, is when you take your ink off it's just to dab it, the, the thick of it in there and then you can use that rather than on your pad, but I've got it on the pad anyway. But anyway, let's just build up a bit of a sky and a sea and just blue in the background is all I'm looking for just so we've not got a, st a stark white background and again you can build that up add it lightly remember you can add colour you can't take it away so just giving it a bit of a background here to build up and we'll just leave it at that. Obviously you can keep adding darker and bring the image in so that you're giving a frame here to your picture. See I say stop and then I don't know how to stop. Just build it up. That brings it brings your eye in. So let's stop just now, Janice, because you know, and forgot. Did I, what did I forget to do? I forgot to put my sentiment in. Love you a ton. I'm just going to pop it up here. I think I'm pop it in here. Tap tap tap. Love you a ton. So even though I was blending ink with that colour, it just shows you the various tones of it and you can still read that perfectly. So let's have a precariously balanced 
boat. Shall we put it on dimensionals? I don't know if I can do this in 15 minutes. This is a challenge for me. <laughs> oh me, what are we at now? 10 minutes, oh yeah, surely, surely, surely. Timekeeping's not my best. So this, as I say, this is just fun. The boat's on the crest of the wave there. And then my hippo, which I've, I've coloured them with petal pink and smoky slate. I'm saying him, could be her. Who knows? And then we'll just, will we use dimensionals again? A foot sort of in the boat, and then we have bits. We've got a life. What do you call that? <laughs> a life ring. What a lifesaver! My brain is not here with me today. I don't know if I'm going to use that, but we have here a snorkel and some goggles. So it could be that he's about to go, but do a bit of scuba diving. So I've got some glue here. I just pop a wee bit on my hand here, just a small bit. Just rub it with my finger a bit. Because I didn't take the trouble, I could have cut these out with the adhesive sheets, make them easy to stick. Because you don't want big blobs when you've got something that's thin as this. I have put a bit of glue on there that just doesn't want to that the where's my tweezer? Maybe I didn't have quite enough glue. I was trying to not have too much. That's it has it has engaged there. Maybe just a little bit. I just put it you can use your silicone sheet for this as well. I'm gonna be finished filming in a minute and I'll just go and get it washed. So just just want a bit of glue. Let's pop his wee snorkel at his mouth there and that's him, he's ready to go, he's ready to go diving. Just a bit of fun. Right off my hand. And I'm just going to stick this straight on the card. Of course you can decorate inside the card. Because this is a wee quick video. going to stick this straight on. So I really am quite excited about this mini catalogue. There's lots of fun things in it and celebration. The sets are fantastic. They're top quality. They're, although you can earn them from free, for free I'll need to fix that. They are still the, our top class quality products just as if you were buying them. So here's a kind of masculine, I think we'll still have this, will we? I don't know. These goggles are... Oh, they're not... It's a scuba mask, isn't it? I was going to say, what are they goggles or... Scuba mask, isn't it? You do with a wee anchor really, but we'll just no, we'll just pop it on the back here. Right. It's just fun and using your imagination. There's still some wee bits there, so there's a couple of bits of water bubbles there. So could easily just pop. I don't know if I'm at my 15 minutes. The problem is I can't see the clock. But anyway, so you know, you could have a bubble coming out of his snorkel. Tweezers come here. I 
I didn't rehearse this. There's not one. Here's made one I made earlier. It just I'm crafting on the fly as usual, really. I was going to put another wee drop here. I've got a hair or something stuck to my glue. <laughs> there you go. Just he's, he's breathing. There we go. Enough. So there we have it. A masculine hippo card and a feminine hippo card. And then we have these ones that I made earlier. Oh, you really are the best. This one with the masking and then the square one using some stamping. So it's a fun set. I don't know how well you can see them. Yep, there you go. So thank you very much. I'm just over 15, so I'm going to go. Thank you so much for watching.